Play, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with interest, the interesting live show, and uh, we're back. And today, well, here we're just at McDonald's hanging out right now. But I just want to tell you a little something that happened to me the other day. Um, I came in here, um, I believe it was Sunday night. I think it was Sunday night, Saturday night, whatever night it was. Well, I came in here to order some food, and uh, security guard. He's not working today. No, he's, no, he's not here today. Yeah, but he told me basically I couldn't come in the store, and I was barred or something like that. And I tried to say I was here the other day, start trouble. And it was about three days. I come and gave him a hard time on morning shift and everything. They've had problems out of me before, so I kind of got mad and refused to leave the store. But if I didn't leave, they called the police. So I had to leave and basically call, and so I, I basically left, but now it was Saturday it happened because I had came in here Sunday right before I went to work to get breakfast and try to fix the situation. Well, come to find out he did make a mistake because he came right up and apologized. The security guard came right up and apologized to me and told me he got me mixed up with somebody else and that he seen the video of the person that came in and started trouble. And coming to find out that this person, I didn't see the video, but I want to see this person. I got to see this person. But obviously there's somebody like that looks like me around here that's going around starting shit. Coming in stores because remember what I told you what happened over at the Thorntons, uh, you know. Because right now I'm at the McDonald's on uh, Second Broadway, as you can see. We're over here at Second Broadway. But we're here eating. We come here because it's just across the street from us. But uh, over there, out the window, it's kind of behind the trees, is the Thorntons. Yeah, Thornton's gas station over there. Had the same situation happen over there. And they try to say I can't, I was barred because I went in the shoplifting and everything. And I kept, you know, because of what I went through in my life, being picked, messed with because of disabilities and stuff. Well, I kept accusing them, thinking they was just didn't want me in there because of my disability. So, and I kind of felt upset about it. And I, of course, I, I told, well, she, she made up and said Sean Tegan told her. Well, Sean Tegan said I wasn't allowed, but, but you know, that, that was, but now I'm sitting here thinking, well, maybe that, that same person that came in here and started trouble went in Thornton's and shoplifted, and they got me mixed up with somebody else, too. So, you know, tell you what, I, they got it. So I got a twin or doppelganger around here that looks, that's out here, actually a bigger nutcase than I am out here, starting all kinds of shit, going in stores and restaurants and starting crap with customers and employees and get kicked out. And uh, well, I don't really care what somebody does, but this person is making causing me problems because. Or get me mixed up with this person. I go in a store where that person's been barred or caused trouble, and they bar me out because they thought I was her, and I have to come back in, go get the thing situated. Well, I'll tell you what's really freaky about this per about this person. I don't know if she's home. I I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to look for this person because I'm going to find her, and I'm going to whoop her ass. But she's causing me problems. She's not only getting barred out from these places, but I'm going to whoop a person's ass because... She's making me, you know, get me mixed up with the wrong person. You know, what if this person does something serious? Like, suppose she does something like rob a... What if she goes in and rob somewhere, go kill somebody, and they, they only get her... Let's say they only get that person's description, but they don't get her name. They don't know her by name. And then all of a sudden, the police are out here looking for this person, and they wind up picking me up for something she did. So... Well, this has got to get uh, situated because I hate for things like this to happen to me because of this person. So, I don't know if the person's homeless. I mean, I scraped a few of the Vidocs around here seeing if there was anybody there that looked like me. But, I do want to find out. I said, I have to watch this video. I really have to watch that video and see who this person looks like. I mean, somebody actually looks like me going around here doing this stuff and I'm getting mixed up with somebody else. So... Uh, I really gotta find this person. So, um, that's, it's, well, that's why this show is called An Interesting Life, because that's the way my life is, but, anywho, we'll be back after these messages.